Well, okay. I think this is the one that's interesting. It warns you so you don't say bad things. I don't know. <laughs> you can say bad things. I don't care. <laughs> Um, Anita was supposed to be here though. Oh, I got somebody needing in. Hang on. I have to run across the room. Right. Let them uh, in. Oh, two people. Okay. Diane. Yep. My mother. Barb. <laughs> supposed to have Anita tonight too, but hmm. maybe not. Ooh, I'm hot all of a sudden. Oh. Okay. What'd you say? Hello. Yay. I don't need to be seen. Hello. Hey, Dina. hey Barb. We can make it so they can't see us, but how do we get our voice off of here? Mute. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, well. We like your voice. Oh. Yeah, but I'm going to say inappropriate things. You know me. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. You know I struggle. <laughs> Plus I'm a oh, thing. Uh, that's always a bad thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do I get rid of that? Oh look, we're gone. We're no longer there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Thirty more seconds. We'll see if Anita's coming, and then we'll start. Okay. Oh no, this goes. How does this go? Stamps out. Nope. No. Back my lunch. I just left the food out for work. Okay, they're fine. They're fine. Really that part. How do we get our voice off of here? Oh, there it is. She's kissing on our Mute. Oh, where'd it go? It's gone. Right there. There it is. Oh, I cut the wrong way. Oh my goodness. I know. I I could mute you. Well, I have to mute us all, Barb. No, that's okay. I'm gonna mute it. Maybe. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I am tired tonight too. Julie okay. said she's tired. I'm tired too. Yay. Oh, yeah. Kind of crappy weekend. So, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll get right started. I gave you the template. Let me move this so you don't have to look at my scary looking face. Ooh, it's very bright. Yikes. That's too bright. That's too bright. That's too dark. Oh, just right. <laughs> there. Is that good? Oh, sorry. Can y'all see it? Okay. Yes, uh, whoever whoever decided that yes, we're kind of making our own designer paper. Yes, we are. Um, it's similar to that um, that one we did, Susan led with the where you stamped on the lines. Yeah. Except we stamp everywhere. We fill it up, and um, you saw my. I went ahead and just printed this and it didn't turn out very good to print. Uh, but this is what my paper originally looked like. And I don't know if you can see up close, but there's all sorts of background stuff. Um, here's one I did just the other day. I don't know if you can see that mm -hmm. very well. Um, you, have, you have patches of like um, main character sort of thing. You know, like on this one, you have patches of the main image and then you fill in the rest of it with lots of textures and things that's mm -hmm. why i said for you to pull every anything that looked textural at all like i pulled i gotta flip this yeah, that's better i pulled this little seaweed and i pulled this little thing and i pulled like there's sand on this one dots on this one so yeah this little bloop thing i don't know what it is um, this one is an entire stamp set full of just textures. Okay. Um, I even pulled, and this is the trick I'm going to show you. I even pulled a background stamp, but only I have this one that looks like chicken wire, but I only use parts of it. And I'll show you how to, how I did that. Um, okay. So what you want to do first is basically draw this on here. But yeah. like Susan said, when we did hers, she said to draw lightly. This time you want to push pretty hard. I found that out the hard way <laughs> because I drew lightly on this one first and then I could not see my lines. Yeah. So I had to go back and find them all. Um, so go ahead and we'll do that real quick. If you, if you haven't already, and just basically you can put this, if it shows through, eh, maybe. Ours is not as big. 
Huh? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. So you're gonna Mine have, wouldn't my, bad. Like that. my bad. Um, you're gonna have to just look at it and measure. Um, so go ahead and do that real quick and then I'll kind of give you some tips and then we'll be done with it. Okay. Yeah. So how long did you do that pattern? No, oh, I was gonna just kind of watch. I was gonna yeah. watch and just do it. I don't need a pattern. I've got everything else all spread out here, but mm -hmm. I don't have that. Yeah, I'm just going to watch it and see the process and then try it. Yeah, okay. Well, I probably should have done one of these then for you. That's uh, okay. Time, but, no. uh, and the one, the one measurement I did not give you, and you might want to put it on your sample or on your template, is you notice how this line goes all the way across? I didn't put how far that line was from the top. It's six and a half. We were right where she, that's the so key. this whole segment here is six and a half, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so, I, yeah. so that's kind of a good place to start with six and a half. Mm -hmm. And remember, push hard. You want your your um, lines to be nice and dark. Yeah. Oh, crap. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're doing our six and a half first. I, I would, because that's the only one that goes all the way across. That's kind of a good place to start mm -hmm. this one. Then I would say maybe do the, these two at five and a quarter and then another one and a half. No, but that's where she had it, but it's right here, six and a half. Oh, yeah. So see, it is a yeah. bad. Yeah, so there's the five and a quarter. You have because you oh, called it. Oh, it is. Hey, Wendy, yeah. I have to back out. I'm on the wrong account on my Zoom right now. Okay. So I'll okay, right. I'll let you back in. All right, thank you. All right, no problem. Uh, yeah, I would start with those. I'm going to fix my camera here. Yeah. And we're just going to do yeah. this one first. There. Can you give those measurements again, Wendy? Yes. Um, I'm so turning the, only, the only one you need to add that I didn't was, you see this line that goes all the way across the paper? Yep. From the top to there is six and a half. So that's probably a good place to start. Measure down six and a half and go all the way across horizontally. Make sense? This one. Okay. okay. I cannot get my light right tonight. It's either too bright or not bright enough. Oh, hello. That's not good. There. Okay. And so then just follow along and um, do the rest of them. Okay. How long? <laughs> up here. How, uh, what is this, did you send us this template already? I did. Okay. Yeah. That's what I did. not print that. Uh, okay. I'll go back and print it. This That's all right. I'll walk you through it. We got it. It's easy. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. So mm. It's on the Facebook page. Yep. Yeah. I must have not printed. Mom, I can print it for you. Yeah. Well, my um, God, there was no, yeah. if without having that. Well, Did everybody else get it? I'm not seeing it. So now do the next one, which is five and a quarter, all the way down. But I'm going to say this at the what what what's the quarter? I'm going to Facebook and print this thing. That's Good. Will you send it to me an email? I'll try. <laughs> I could drive it to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I could just get in the car and drive it over. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I didn't. Wendy, no, you probably did, Wendy, but I missed it. Okay. So, so how far did you go? Uh, right there. Are there any more? Yeah, we are because I just ended the first. I don't even know if I'm doing my okay. no. What's that? Oh, Here, I guess we can turn our camera on. Uh, Mom, I found it. Here is yeah. your template. <laughs> good. Question. Okay. I got a question. Okay. Barb, what? Okay. <laughs> Wendy, why are you using white paper? Yeah. Is that just so we can see it? No, you're going to stamp. You're mm -hmm. going to fill it up. Okay. okay, so we are supposed to be using white paper. So, yes, I'm so confused because me and yes, Tina couldn't paper. figure out why we needed all these stamps when you did it on colored paper. 
No, a I printed didn't. paper. I didn't. She made I the paper. Printed paper. You made that paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. See, that would have been nice to know ahead of time. What? <laughs> made what paper? <laughs> yep, I'm on. To or that. maybe I was supposed to read something that I didn't read. <laughs> yeah, the part in the slides that says white cardstock. But okay. <laughs> we got the white cardstock. We just. Well, so this is so, so this template uh-huh. is not on a twelve by twelve page. Uh, you mean an eight and a half by eleven? Yeah. No, I, that's what I'm asking you. Oh yes, yes, it is not. It is eight half, eight and a half by eleven. And I did next one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So this is really what I want to use. Right here. You want to use okay, you just go ahead, Wendy, because I'm just going to watch. Okay. You want to use cardstock, Barb? Here. Okay. The five and a quarter. And I have that. But so we don't need colored paper, printed paper. Nope. No. You're gonna make them up with all your stamps. Okay. You don't need we were totally all. confused. <laughs> well, we did all that sorting for nothing. Uh, oh, Barb, I'm sorry. Okay. It is okay. It didn't take long to do that. No. We have some nice picked out coordinated stuff now. <laughs> I'm sticking it okay. like we had it. Hold on, Mom. It's coming. Well, that's what the sharp pencil the is. Pencil. That's why you need the big thought, why stamps. Why do I need a sharp pencil? Now I'm going to watch it. Because you it's make two check your text. Oh, oh, that came on my phone. I don't get this on my phone. Okay, well, I'm not a genius here. Give me a second. Go to my email. You know but my mom, phone. give me a second. I'm on my phone. I'm not doing this on the computer. Diane, let me see if I can... I'm emailing it to her. It just takes me. Okay. A oh. I got it. Hey, you know what? I mean, it's okay because I can. I'm sending it to Bledslow. I, I can zoom it to, on my phone. The, the number. I got you, Mom. I already got it. Okay. Thank uh, you. Template. It just takes me a minute. I'm not that fast. No, I'm but old. you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Okay. We could have done this ahead of time. Oh, yeah, I should have had you do it ahead of time. I'm sorry. Oh, how much fun would that be, Wendy? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mom, let, you should get it by email, Mom, I hope. Yeah. Okay, I'm checking. Sorry. Still I think I have these. The light. Light. Still mm-hmm. messing with the light. There. Can you see yeah. it? This to this. Uh-huh. Oh, is okay. your four, then another okay. one five, and then this one just is already done for you, but it's one and a half. And make those We're pretty dark. Yeah, I start from here. You saw I measured five and a quarter down. No, I measured four down. He said, and I do five and a quarter down. No, you do. This was your five and a quarter right here. Mom, did you get it? Yeah, you it went to junk. I don't know why my emails go to junk. Uh, I shouldn't. It's coming up. There it is. Yes, yeah, top to bottom. I hope I'm leaving you right, Bella. Make them nice and dark, like I said. And there's all one and a half down here. Yeah. Well, this one went on the side. Okay. And yeah, I suppose I should have just had you do that ahead of time, but yeah. then we wouldn't have all this fun frustration, would we? It's more fun learning together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just start telling you what I, in the supplies, I told you to have one, like a few stamps that were your images and then a few stamps that were like those things I just showed you, the, the, the textures, right? One and a half. So, whoops. I'm going to go with the same stamp set I use for my samples. This is an old one called Painted Harvest. And put, you're just going to stamp a few images, and I'll show you the copy I made of that one. Uh, some clumps of images just around, just like three or four of them touching some of the lines. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. So you want, and like this one, this one that I made, do you see the big clumps? Yeah, so pretty. Yeah, I kind of, and then I stuck some in from the side too. You can put some things, some clumps coming in from the side too. 
But go ahead and make a few little clumpy things, and then I'll show you how to do the background. We don't have to do the whole thing, but just do like maybe one of your clumps, okay, of a larger images. And I'm going to use this same one. This measurement. It helpful. She had that measurement there. This one. Let's see. See, this one is this measurement. Oh, it's four and a quarter to here, isn't it? No, what, two and three quarters. And if your measurements aren't perfect, it's okay because, you know, we're going to chop it all up anyway. So I'm going to make a. I don't know. Oh, that didn't come out very well. That's okay. And I'm gonna make one more over here. Go. You do, and then I'm gonna do a contrast. Oh, look. And those are sunflowers. Mm -hmm. So you use two different colors. No, you're just overlapping. Uh, my this stamp set calls for two different colors. It's a two-step stampin'. But if you don't, you see that? You see my two mm -hmm. colors? Mm -hmm. I do. Um, it just happens to call for that, but let's see. And then I'm going to do another one with a different color. I'm just trying to do a couple of my clumps for you. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Oh, shoot. I got to let Anita back in. Crap, poor Anita. No, there you are. Here, let's try it over. This is your five and a quarter, and you just draw the line straight down up into the hill. Good? Hey, Ray, your hair looks good. Oh, it's just clipped up in the back of my head. I know, but it looks good. <laughs> well, thank you. Anita, I forgot to let you back in. Okay. All we did so far, Anita, is we copied that template onto a, a piece of Whisper White. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now we're stamping just a few clumps of our larger images, similar to, you can see my clumps here. Clump, 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 clump. That's a technical term. <laughs> Very technical. Clump. Okay. Now let's see. I'll do one more of what colors. Oh, I like this. Have you guys seen? Have you guys all got your catalogs, right? Or or haven't you? Mm -mm, haven't got the new one yet. Uh -huh. Hey, Joy. The oh. new in colors. The new in colors. I love them. I'm going to use one right this second. This one's called Wild Wheat. Ooh, nice. Well, it doesn't look like much there. It looks like poop green. Pretty. But. <laughs> flowers first, whatever flowers you to do. Um, but it's really a cool color. I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. You see it? Mm -hmm. I don't almost a, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like khaki. Yeah, it's khaki-ish. Khaki-esque. Khaki-esque. Uh, Would you say this first box is one and a half? Must be. Must be. And let's put this on top. Okay. So I'm just doing a few of my clumps. And they need centers. Because they would look funny without them. Oh. Put this one there, that one there, and let's. Julie, I'm using my score tool to make these lines on the cardstock, and it's working very well. Yeah, that's that a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I can stop at any time and say no. And I don't know where I'm going to put the middle of that one. Let's put this color. Okay. Okay. So there I've done two of my clumps. This is. Um, you know, I could add leaves to it too, I suppose. Okay. No. Yeah. Five and. No. Mine is five. This should be okay. So each of these should be one and a half. I did that. But this was five. So we want this to be five. It just one. needs to be right. This has to be only one inch, Phyllis. That has to be one inch. Yeah. Yes, but mine's wrong. Okay. 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 Because that's five and a quarter and a quarter. And it would be a quarter to be five and a half at the first one. And mine is five, but it's half a half a half a half. Okay. Oh, well, I'm not reading it. So you do several clumps of your image. They don't all have to be exactly alike, but place them around. You can have some coming in from the sides or whatever. Are we, are we good? Mm -hmm. that. Okay, now you're going to start taking your textural stuff and filling in everything. Now I have tons of fun doing this because sometimes I stamped off and made things lighter. Sometimes I would put like, let's say a yellow ink on a stamp and then I would, you know what um, the kiss method is? I would kiss it to some of the darker. Um, okay. I'll show you what I mean. Let's do like this one. Okay, this is a little like curly cue sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And let's say I would go, I would go yellow. I want to see this. Okay. Crushed curry. And then I would just go, I would just like touch it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not the whole thing. Only the light go dark, you can do that. You can't go off with it. Oh, that's pretty. That is beautiful. Um, and you can touch it to three different colors or something, or I can stamp it again somewhere. It doesn't need a lot of ink. Okay. Um, I like that. Me too. So, oops. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, let me show you how I use the, um, a whole background stamp is I took this stamp and I didn't mount it. Yeah, I just screwed that up big time. Sorry. Oh, well. I didn't mount it. I just took, let's say this brown, one of our new colors, not an in color. It's a new color called Pecan Pie. It's really pretty. But I just took this and I like went like this. And I went, doop, doop. And then I stamped some of it off and went like that. Oh, I gotcha. So, I mean, you don't have to use the whole stamp. You can scritch it up and whatever. Another right. technical term, scritch it, scritch it up. Scritch it up. Uh, what else did I tell you to grab? Let's see. Um, okay, this one has a lot of good textures. I'm just gonna grab this little, the little squares. It doesn't wanna stick. Um, and let's say, let's say I want this, this fun new color. Wow. And some early espresso. Put my wild wheat on, kiss it, and stamp it off because I don't want it to. And then I'm not even going to use the whole stamp. Well, I did there, but like you can use just the corner of it. Just to fill in. And see, imagine what this looked like if you had a whole bunch more sunflowers to go, and then you're filling in all the in-between. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, with just tons of textural stuff. Um, and just have fun with it. Bend your stamps. I mean, I could have used this like this. 
Was it, did you say 72? You know, whatever. Um, there we go. So it ends up giving it a real vintage feel. Mr. Tom, thanks you. Mm -hmm. Let me show you the rest of the in colors. Oh my gosh. Of course, there's that wild beet, moody mauve. Mm, that's pretty. Boho mm -hmm. blue. The blue know, looks blue. Um, pebble Ooh. calf. What is that one? Pebble, pebble calf. Is that like a brown? It is. It mm. actually turns out more grayish brown. See that? See those? Oh, I like ones? that. You see that one, Phyllis? Mm -hmm. What is that called again? I'm going to write it down. Pebble calf. It's one of the new in colors. Pebble calf. P E B B L E D. Pebble D. And then top, another in color is copper clay. A lot of them. Um, so these are the five new in colors. They're very um, neutral. Yeah. Yeah. I like them a lot. Um, I used almost exclusively, except for some old olive, I used all the new in colors on this one. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you know, just have fun with it. Um, I'll show you a couple other things I did. Um, this one, I actually just. Here we go. This one, this stamp is like an old ship's log and it's just like random writing. Okay. And I, I just went. What do you want? I'm going to use pebbled path. Do you want? I didn't put it on a block. I just kind of went blue, 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 stamped it off. And then it looks like writing. And you can even go over your images a little bit. Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. mm. But over. It just, it, really? I went into to the whole vintage um, stamp <laughs> thing, but now I am. <laughs> I love the cat butt. Yep. <laughs> I deal with this on a daily oh, basis. Where's the cat butt? Right there. Right in front of my face. Oh, wait. Fact, mine isn't with me. My dogs are mad because I have my door shut. We don't shut doors around here. It's not done. Damn. Wendy, okay. can you repeat the name of the um, stamp set with the sunflowers? I know you said um, they don't, the, it's old, but there's always yes, a great I will. Interest. It is Painted Harvest. Painted Harvest. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I love it. I don't know why they ever did away with this one because it's so pretty. Um, so then, of course, once you have filled your entire page up, this is why you want to draw your lines dark <laughs> because your entire page is filled up. Um, and then you can start cutting and you have, you know, all these awesome pieces. I just want to see what one of my pieces looks like. Oh, Mama loves her baby. Cutting it now. His name is Lover Boy, and he lives up to it quite well. Lover Boy. I have a black cat. Looks just like Lover Boy. Her name is Pablo. She came. So how are you cutting it? Huh? When you cut it, you just follow those same lines. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See, here's the. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's these first ones. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I see it. And on the template, I told you what I used for like this big, big piece I used for one card. Mm -hmm. And then these two small pieces I used for another card. But you don't have to. You can use, you know, if you want to use the one I've designated for five with six, I don't care. That's up to you. Um, I just want to see what these look like. I like it. I like it a lot. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Yes. Um, but yeah, like, like here was my one I did for number one. Um, this one was number six, that little piece for six. Yeah. This was five. I turned them vertically. Uh, nine. So you can get nine cards out of all this stuff. 
um, I think my fave. Oh, look at you. You already going for it? I'm just doing it. Oh, I, I like that, Wendy. I like this one. Yeah. How oh, you can you can see the image, but it's that's yeah. cool. But yeah, and there's that one. I loved it how the black was peeking through. That was cool. Why do you what? You said I liked it how the black was peeking through. That was cool. Yeah, it's so pretty. Okay, so sorry for the little craziness in the beginning, but hopefully, hopefully you got some good ideas. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. That's beautiful. I mean, yeah, you can't do it. You can't do it wrong. I mean, mm -hmm. I wasn't. I wasn't even really liking this at first. Oh, but, I love it. You know, God, I love it. Oh, I love it. Um, and anything goes. Bend your stamps. Like I said, kiss a couple colors on them. Stamp them off. Oh, you got crazy. Yeah. I'm going to move this real quick. Hang on. Sorry, bumpy. That would be a good one for snowflakes and stuff, too. Mm. Yes. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried it for winter or Christmas yet, but it might be a good yeah. way to get lots of Christmas cards done. Yeah. Or a fall right. with leaves. Huh? And yep. Yeah, yeah, I like the leaves. The different colored leaves. And then the small one if you want to do something. Hey, 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 not that paper, please. What happened? There we go. All right, ladies. Any, uh, do you have enough information to be dangerous? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I like it. Thank you. Are there any questions? Um, I have a question. Um, yeah. Why do we have the narrow scores and different scores if we're just kind of papering our paper? What do you expect? Um, it, you know, it really doesn't matter. This was just one template that I found on the internet. I didn't make it up. Yeah. You could do any, you could draw your lines anywhere, actually. So, Does that make sense? Yeah. Kind of, what's the score line? What's the purpose of Okay. I don't understand. You're going to cut, cut it. on those lines. You cut it for pieces of your cards, Mom. Yes. You cut it, and instead of like how Wendy gives us templates where we cut it two inches, two inches. Once you make your pattern paper, you cut it, and then she's telling you the numbers give you that many cards. So card three, put three strips. Card four, put these two. Yeah. Got it. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, it's really yeah. cute. Those lines are for you to cut on. You don't have to be specific if you want to, your own no, idea. I'm starting. Yeah. I'm starting, Randy. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're doing it. Going on here, but I'm pumping around. You're doing it. You're doing Good. it. Um, yeah, you could make up your own template. Yes. Yeah. You know, you can cut them any way you want to. You can just cut them in and have nice big pieces. It's up to you. Perfect. Perfect. Isn't that pretty? Yes, and that is. Teacher, can I get it? Uh, see? Oh, teacher. She wants a grade on her paper. Oh, I can't see. It's across the room. I gotta come look. I can't see you either. Can't. She's not at her computer. You gotta Put it closer to the screen. Okay. Diane. Hold it up now. Oh, I just threw some stuff down here. That's beautiful. I like the swirls. Yeah, I, I love. Like I did not hit all these swirls. You get an A from the teacher. Oh, you got an A, Mom. <laughs> I said, well, I could have swirls like yeah. that. And then to do some word patterns, I've got a lot of those. You can just do them over those swirls. That'd be so pretty. Mm -hmm. Lovely swirls. Thank you. Yes. That sentiments. You could use sentiments as textures. You know what I mean? They could, yeah. Like, oh, thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. Could be. Thank you could use all the different styles of thank you that you have. Yeah. I was getting bored, Wendy, with all my regulars. I get so many cards. I said, I'm tired of making these cards. This is a new concept. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's 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 our whole point of doing this. <laughs> it kind of um uh gets the juices flowing, I guess. You know. All right, all right, ladies. So thank you, Wendy. Unless you have any more questions, I'm gonna sign off. Um okay. bye. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Yep, thanks for coming. Bye. Bye, bye guys. Bye bye. bye. Oh, bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you, Wendy. Bye. Yep. Bye bye. Oh, we got no video. Bye. <laughs> Please. Please.